sir. Yes, sir. 650. That's enemy for today's workout. 650. Not 650 pounds. 650. That's the enemy. All eyes on 650. Run it up. Run it up, boy. We finna wrap this, boy. Well, we're not gonna wrap it, but I'm, you, you know what I mean. That's the enemy. Single. 650. Run it up. Four weeks out from Raw Nationals. Four. Count them. Four. Let's eat. Bruh, so 650 pounds moved easy. Oh, my bad. 650. 650 moved easy. Now, today's workout was supposed to be a heavy single at an RP of 6 to 7, and we did that. So now it's time to drop the weight down and get a 3 by 6 at an RP 6 to 7. So that means 6 plates, aka 585 pounds. Let's work. Not a love song. Okay, so I'm not even gonna lie, man. I'm actually kind of surprised the way Delves are feeling today. Cause yesterday, ooh, in my last video, I said that I was running around the gym a lot. And, or not running around the gym, but I was shooting basketball for quite some time. So like about 45 minutes was spent outside sweating and moving my legs around. So I was kind of expecting today to be kind of like a down workout or down lift whenever it came to Delves because I felt like my legs were gonna be zapped. And surprisingly, I feel really, really fresh. I woke up this morning and I was like, man, I, I feel a lot more fresh than I thought I was going to be. And you know, it's translating for today's workout. First set of six with 585 pounds wasn't that bad, but I did kind of rip my hand open, but it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna take that little rip and we're gonna turn it into some more games, boy. We still gonna we still got another two sets. I ain't gonna complain. We still gonna eat regardless. Regardless. We got four weeks. Ain't no time to be a little baby about it. We're gonna work. Alright, <laughs> second set. Let's work. Yo, so check it out. It's like, I want to lock out all the way, but like whenever I tend to lock out all the way, look, you can see like, I already ripped this hand open, and this hand came a little bit on, uh, a little bit ripped, and this one's like still ripping, so. It's like the more I try to lock out, the more the bar rolls in my hand, and it's like ripping my skin, so like, I get really, really close to lock out, but I don't go all the way, because if I go all the way, the bar kind of rolls more into my body, and my skin rips, so. Still really good sets. Okay guys, now we're on the last set, the third set, with 585 pounds. Now, I'm beat up, I'm wounded, I'm tired, I'm hurting, but I can't stop. Four weeks out, am I gonna get it or am I not? Can't have doubt in my brain, can't have doubt in my heart. We gonna get this and it's gonna start right now. And I plot that in four weeks, I'm gonna stand up on top. <laughs> that was a freestyle. <laughs> All right, okay, for real though. 585, six reps with ripped hands. Let's get it.
It's all good. I didn't want to make excuses. <laughs> but <laughs> my hands are ripping, bro. <laughs> it's all good. I ain't tripping. Okay, so this is an interesting situation. It's like I know I have the strength to do this, but just like circumstances, like normally in a, in a, in a circumstance like this, most powerlifters will put on straps to kind of like give their hands a break. It is what it is. It's like I just literally cannot grip the weight anymore. Like it's just not happening. I don't know. It's all good though. I know the strength is there. I know I'm capable. And I don't trip too much. It's like what I had had two more reps left. That was I can't believe I just failed after I did that freestyle before I started lifting. Huh. Whatever. Alright. <laughs> we completed the workout. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Today was supposed to be a deadlift and back and bicep workout. But I'm four weeks out from nationals and it's time to kind of get more specific towards my training for getting ready for all nationals. So that means bodybuilding is kind of taking a back seat to my powerlifting portion of the workout. So there's no need to kind of expend myself like some more after my deadlift session because I do have bench tomorrow. I want to make sure my whole body is as fresh as possible when it comes to bench pressing the most way possible. So that means, I feel like someone's right behind me. But anyways, so that means no more bodybuilding or like the majority of the preps can be kind of like a little bit here and there sprinkled whenever I'm not completely exhausting myself with the powerlifting portion, if that makes sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to get more specific towards the thing that's going to be happening in four weeks, which is competing on the platform, which is squat, bench, deadlift. Basically get more specific, less bodybuilding, more powerlifting. Yeah. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What's up guys, it's the next morning and I realized I just, like my last clip was me with the camera like on top of my car talking so it's like, it's kind of weird to like have that and then come back to this. But anyways, it is like around almost 8.30 and we're about to head on to HB, which is a grocery store and I need to pick up some more chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me. All right, let's go get that, let's go get that chicken boob. Okay guys, so we just picked up the chicken boobs. Now, I got a couple other stuff, I got some bread. Um, turkey bacon. I'm thinking about getting Halo Top ice cream, but uh, I have a little rant about Halo Top that I want to get off before I continue on with this video. Okay, so for the longest time, I've convinced myself that Halo Top was a passable form of ice cream. So the last past couple of weeks, I've been eating Ben and Jerry's, and you know, that's that, that's that real stuff, man. That's that real shit. So last night, I opened up a pint of Halo Top, and I tried tasting it, and I was like, bruh. What is this, man? Like, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm done fooling myself. I can't even lie to myself anymore, man. Halo Top, like, I understand it's low in calories and all that stuff, and it's good for people that are trying to get that, that ice cream feel when they're on a cut. But, bro, I'm sorry, man. I can't I can't do it no more. I can't lie to myself. I know that Halo Top ain't that real deal, bro. I, just, I can't do it no more, man. After eating Ben and Jerry's for the last couple of weeks, that has that is the standard of what ice cream should taste like. And Halo Top doesn't mean it, man. I'm sorry to say I'm just trying to be honest with y'all. I'm trying to be real, like... For all the Hilltop lovers out there, I can I can congratulate you, man. You're able to lie to yourself on a consistent basis. Cause that ain't real ice cream, bruh. It just not. <sighs> My bad, man. Had to get real on y'all for a second. <sighs> it's too early for all this, man. Um, can I get an ice green tea latte uh, with non-fat milk, please? You know what's funny, man? I go to Starbucks almost every single day now. And every single time they ask me what do I want, I look at the menu and I get that like, can I get a motherfucking no? <laughs> every single time I'm just like, I look at it, I'm like, can I get a, can I get a goddamn motherfucking? <laughs> Even though I know I'm gonna get the green tea latte, what I get from Starbucks is the green tea latte with not that milk sweetened. Okay, so this is how you say it. It's like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see what you gotta like say the whole thing, right? Let me try to do it. Can I get a grande ice green tea latte that's sweet with not that milk? I don't know. Is that how is that how you'd say it? It tastes good though. Ooh, mm. no better way to start your morning. Actually, there is a better way to start your morning, and we're gonna get straight onto that. All right, guys. Turn that off when I'm talking. Okay, I come to you today with a heavy heart. A couple days ago on YouTube, I had a YouTuber by the name of Travis call me out on my pancake flipping abilities and call the throne out in whole. 
I'm sure a lot of you guys already know Russ Swole. If you've never seen him online before, it's probably because he's really small and he's easy to miss. But he thinks he is some kind of pancake flipping king, some phenom out there. He thinks he's got skills and all that. Now, I watched his little YouTube video. It was cute. You know, he was good with the theatrics, making it look all cute. He had the angles, the edit, the music. But there was a key component that was missing to his pancake flip. <laughs> a very, very key component. All right. And that was a clean pancake. Now, if you go back and analyze what young Travis tried to do was he tried to hide his inability to make a golden pancake. If you go and analyze that video, you will see that his pancake is burnt. Now, Travis, I, I could have I could have made this video and gone back and forth with you with the edits. I could have matched you edit for edit. I could do that. I could be cute. I could be theatrical. But sometimes as a king, you have to realize it ain't about the theatrics. It ain't about the image. It's about doing. It's about being. And that's what I do every single day. Now, Travis, you challenged, you challenged me. All right. You really did challenge me. You challenged me, man. You called me out on your video. You made it look cute. You made people think that I had something to worry about. <laughs> but Travis, you, you don't realize that I'm the king of this, all right? Okay? Re remember that. I'm the king of this, all right? You don't come for the king unless you sent for it. I'm done smiling. You see this? I'm serious. Don't come for the king unless you sent for it. Now I have a pancake right here and we about to flip that bad boy. And I'm not gonna be theatrical, I'm not gonna be cute, I'm not gonna try to get a thousand different angles and add music to it. I'm gonna keep it raw, unfiltered. And we are gonna flip this pancake the way you're supposed to do it. Ooh, here comes another one. Ooh boy, they keep talking about my throne. They keep asking if I got it. Do I got it? Do you know who you talking to? I'm the king of this dog. Don't play with me, man. Come on, dog. Don't play with me, dog. Golden brown beat. Look at this. Golden brown beat. Ain't no burnt around here. Hey, Travis. I appreciate you, man. You tried your best. You thought you had me in the bag, but you didn't realize who you was messing with, B. Don't ever come for the king unless you sent for it. That's a warning shot. I'm showing mercy. Time, but yeah, we finna head on to the gym right here, dog. Ooh, we finna get today's workout, boy. Okay, so I just spent the last, <laughs> what, two hours getting some client emails done, and then now we're about to head on to the gym. So, I just booked my flight for Indiana, Indi Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm going to Indiana to go support my boy Josh at Purdue University. They're gonna be playing Michigan September 23rd, and I'm gonna be there in Indiana. So, I have one free day on Friday, because um, I arrived there on Thursday. So I'm gonna need a place to work out. So if there's anyone that watches my channel that lives in Indiana or Indianapolis or around Purdue, please let me know what are the gyms around there that are dope that accepts like powerlifting. If I don't get any recommendations, I might just end up at the Purdue Rec Center or something like that. But I also just sent in another order for some more junk headbands. I texted my girl Shayna because she is the person that handles me when it comes to ordering stuff from junk and getting them to me. And uh, super excited to show you guys the new headbands that I got. But if you guys want to get some more headbands, head on to junkbrands.com and use my code. I just said cold. Use my code Russell to save you 10% off your cart. But we're about to head on to the gym right now. We have bench. That's what we're going to be working out. And I'll see you guys. Okay guys, so it is time to hit bench. We have 335 pounds on the bar right now. And we're, we have a three by six at RP7. There's not much else to say, just 335 pounds on the bar, it's time to work. So first set, let's get it.
Okay guys, so we just wrapped up bench. It went all right, it went all right, but now it's time to focus on this chest and arm workout. So the first thing we're gonna do, some incline dumbbell bench press. Now, I'm gonna try to make this work. I move kind of fast, because it is Thursday night football, and it's probably like, what, it's like six o'clock now? Yeah. Around there, yeah. Okay, so I have like maybe an hour left to the gym. So I'm gonna try to make it really fast, like I said earlier. So we're gonna do like sets of failure. So we're gonna do three sets of uh, failure on incline dumbbell bench press. So let's give it a first set. We have 120 pounds. <coughs> let's work. Work. Uh, 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 All right, guys. So now we're moving on to the next chest movement, which is going to be some hammer strength, like side presses. I don't even know the exact word to call it, but I can show you better than I can tell you. So we're going to do about maybe once again three sets of failure for each side. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I'm gonna have to match each side. So I did 15 on this side, so I'm gonna have to do 15 on the other side. I can't like reach failure on one side, I do like 11 on one side and only do eight. So I have to match it to make sure everything's symmetrical. Alright, 15 on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're moving on to the last chest movement, which is going to be some machine flies. So once again, three sets of failure. Keep it simple. Then after this chest movement, we're going to move on to supersetting biceps and triceps. Now we're moving on to the bicep and tricep supersets. First thing we're gonna do is give some easy bar curls. I feel like I'm talking really, really fast, so I'm gonna try to slow down. First thing we're gonna do is give me some easy bar curls, and we're gonna superset with superset that with some skull crunch. All right. <laughs> Okay, so today was a little bit off because I just didn't get everything I wanted to do out of the way in the gym today. Just because, okay, <laughs> I hate making excuses, but yo, my stomach is feeling crazy right now, right? And then also, Texas game is starting like in the next 20 minutes, so um, had to kind of cut the workout short. Wasn't feeling the best, and also I'm peaking for a power to me, so there's no need to kind of keep pushing myself when it comes to the bodybuilding aspect of things. So just kind of. You know, just kind of auto-regulating, kind of keeping it cool, just like adjusting to how I feel. And so with the combination of my stomach hurting and then the game started, I'm just like, all right, we're just gonna do that thing for biceps and triceps and just kind of call it a workout. And, um, you know, once again, save more energy for tomorrow's squat session. Kind of all works out. This video is coming to end, guys. We are four weeks out from Raw Nationals. Nothing to say, just like super amped to I mean, actually, like, once this week is up, it's gonna be three weeks out from Raw Nationals. I'm ready, man. Ready to work. So, this video is coming to end, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. Bye bye. Now it's back to me, nigga. I took my click, turned it to faculty, nigga. Took my operation.